Education is said to be the key to success. It is said to be something that opens doors. It is said to be something that brings forth prosperity. But what happens when that is snatched away from people? Hi, my name is Dr. Petra Beams. I am the academic lead at DSG in Grahamstown, Rakanda. I've served in that role since 2020. Okay, my name is Mr. Mkuba Zonobele, well known by the name Radio. Regarding my career, I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher by profession, uh, but I got promoted in 1999 and started um, here at Kutliso Daniel Secondary School as a school manager or a principal. Distress, devastation, disaster, crisis, and catastrophe. These are words that were used to describe a deadly pandemic, which hit us all by surprise. The COVID-19 pandemic started in 2019. It went from being just a cold in one part of the world to a virus which changed the world forever. By stripping us of physical contact, it brought emptiness into our schools, leaving nothing but the memory of children who were once there. Sure. Um, our reaction to the pandemic, it, it was really, as we all know, it was Sure, such a devastating situation. Well, I think on the whole, they coped quite well. Uh, they, we were quite fortunate that when the pandemic hit, we were near the end of our first term. Being a three-term full boarding school, we um, were able to continue with classes, then send our children home, and then regroup and plan for, for the pandemic online learning sessions. Um, at the end of it, you know, by 2021, I think the children were pretty over it. They were very fatigued by the online screen time. But what we managed to do was um, create quite a lot of successful facilities that um, we currently have in person. We try to translate that online as much as possible. Um, we were then half online, half in person for quite a while, which was quite challenging. But um, they all had their support structures in place regardless, um, their tutor system, their house directors, they had access to all of that online. So on the whole, I think we coped quite well. Um, it was challenging, but we coped well. Although schools may have been able to cope, their ability to reach their full capacity was definitely impacted by the pandemic. As schools all over South Africa both public and private, saw a slight decrease in past. And mostly we were helped by Rhodes University, the, the, the engagement section, which is led by uh, uh, Dr. Dai Hornby. So they, pro with, they worked collaboratively with Rhodes, I mean with GADRA, uh, which we really uh, appreciate that very much. They also had that program of mentoring, the 910th program. My name is Luanda Hadewe. I'm currently a part-time student studying Bachelor of Education Honours and also a full-time staff member at Rose University under the Division of Community Engagement. I work as a program coordinator for the programs 9th and Siakana at Makana. So this initiative has been before the pandemic. It is called 910's Mentoring Program. Of course, when the pandemic hit, it was very difficult for us to continue volunteering as what you would call normal because we were under strict lockdown. School was not continuing as normal. And so we had to find different ways to continue with the program. So Kutliso Daniels joined the 910's Mentoring Program in 2020. They entered the 910's program at the right time, just when the whole world needed it, I think. Nine tens, together with Buddy and Q and other programs, are part of the education initi initiative that Dr. Cesar Mavizela started, which are aiming to assist the education system in Grahamstown. Students from Rhodes University had mentors, one on one mentoring of our grade 12s. So, with that kind of interaction, we were able at least to cover almost all curriculum. Because with that data, of course, teachers were able to, the school had to provide some kind of uh, data to the teachers so that they are able to communicate with learners, even during weekends or even during the days that are not, learners are not attending. In 2020, at the end of the year, when the matric results came out, 
the class of 2020 did exceptionally well, especially at Kukliso Daniels. They received 10 bachelor passes. And then in 2021, they received 25 bachelor passes. Before Kukliso Daniels was a part of the 19th mentoring program, they were receiving 50% pass rate in 2019. And then in 2020, after they had joined the 19th mentoring program, they received a wonderful 78% pass rate. Not only did the pandemic affect academics, but it also shut down the opportunities for people to participate in extracurricular activities like sports and culture. It snatched opportunities for pupils to participate in festivals and tournaments, leaving them to play and perform amongst themselves. When the pandemic arrived, most of us didn't play or train because all the facilities that we used to train on were closed. So most of the local teams that are played on almost fall apart. And then on the netball team, they were all closed, so we couldn't play. That is why I felt so sad, because I love Nepal and I'm passionate about it. Obviously, before COVID, sports was very on board, and it's I, everyone around the world never thought COVID could take away as much as it did. And it was one of those situations, I felt like that, and I'm sure lots of people, other, you sort of, you don't realize how much something means to you until it's gone. So as soon as we got given the opportunity, especially like DSG, they really tried everything in their efforts to get us to play against like Kingswood or even internal and having the facilities to do that. Really heard lots of people voice their like, concerns of how much sport means to them. Although COVID disrupted life as we knew it, the education system seems to be restored as contact lessons have been brought back and so have sporting and cultural activities.